Welcome back to my film and TV channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And yes, I thought I'd have a little look at something. It's a series that's going a while now. We're into the final season of this. And I sometimes don't particularly do reviews on stuff that's been around for a while. Obviously, once a season or a series starts, I try and do a, a review of the say the first season or perhaps season two as well depending on what it is but certain ones as they get to season three four five six we know what it's all about and they're either to last that long they're usually pretty good aren't they so you don't need to keep commenting you can obviously make a comment about a season but i think certain ones sort of need just just a little comment to be made i've been looking at a lot of stuff recently on peaky blinders of course, Series 6, you call it Season 6, Series 6 for a UK, so I call it Series 6. And of course, this is the last uh, season of it. Yeah, the sixth and final season. Uh, a, a big, a big series for the BBC back in the day, of course. I think it first aired back in 20, 2013-ish, around there. And a British crime gangster drama, but as as is the norm with any BBC thing, a limit of episodes. So I think obviously six seasons of six episodes. So there's always a lack of, if you like, when you look at some of the classic American stuff, the great, you know, you talk of well over hundred episodes and lots, lots more for some of the series. So is it is it sort of quality rather than quantity? Well, normally it can be. I mean, we know the BBC gets a lot of stick. But yeah, I've seen a lot of comments about this Peaky Blinders season six. And I'm literally having to watch it. You know, I like to binge watch things. So I have to watch this episode what episode by episode. So as, as, as I'm recording this uh, on the 22nd of March, we've had four episodes. I've managed to get through three and a half of them, I'll, I'll be honest with you. So I'm just going to have a quick chat, my, my little thoughts on some of the positivity and negativity out there. Episode 1 aired, of course, on the 27th of February 2022 on the BBC, and the final episode will air on the 4th of April 2022. Please check your territory if you're outside of the UK. And the episodes actually show on iPlayer as and when they're recorded. So I did set my record, but I've ended up, I've ended up watching two or three of them on iPlayer anyway. It's just, just as easy, depending which which room I'm in, whether I'm in my office or downstairs in the in the living room. And there had been plans, of course, for a seventh season. This was this was mentioned uh, after the end of season five that there would be a six and a seven season but these plans were scrapped and, and as we're watching season six a lot of people would say we probably know the reason why because it's just losing losing its impetus a little bit so as i said what i'm gonna sort of give you a little general thoughts on my thoughts but is this a season too far possibly possibly it's one of these things that uh, could have perhaps been made into a couple of specials uh, rather than a, a season if you like uh, based on what i've seen so far so we've had the four episodes. I managed to sit through this three and a half. In all in all fairness, my willingness to carry on is dwindling just a little bit. I'm lose not losing the will to live entirely, as as most of the characters are in in this season. But uh, by season five, I thought it was sort of lacking a little bit in season five. I think it was started its little slippery slope to sort of being pretty mediocre at best uh, by season five. So I did old great shakes for season six. I thought, well, if they planned a season six and the seven, perhaps season six would be pretty good because obviously they've had to, the plans that they had for two seasons going to be put into one. So perhaps it's, it would be very, very good. So I do expect a little bit more from this. Overall, the ratings are very good. They're still high. Of course, they will be because of all the ratings. I had just under half a million ratings and scores left in Internet Movie Database. But is it, I mean, for me, it's living on past glories, unfortunately. Internet Movie Database is still showing an 8.8 .8 out of 10, which is exceptional. Rotten Tomatoes still has a 94% positivity rating. But uh, yeah, season six is interesting. Series six is interesting. Because if you look at the episodes themselves, as I said, we've had four episodes. Episode one got a massive, a massive 9.3. All right, not to the quantities of people leaving the general scores that I just mentioned above, but 9.3 for episode one. And I thought episode one was okay. Don't get me wrong. I thought it was okay. It was an okay-ish start to the season. Obviously, we more or less carried on from last last series, last season. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was okay, but certainly not 9.3. But as you know, if you watch my blogs, I always think a lot of people connected with the programmes get scores on early doors. So you're talking hundreds and hundreds of people who perhaps connected with the series who will be going on and oh oh go on go on Fred and just leave it leave a good score for our series that we've just we've just finished or our episode we've just finished. It's episode two got eight point eight, so still very good. Episode three and four. 
both got 8.6 so apparently it's still loved uh but for me it just just isn't quite working as i said three and a half episodes in it just isn't working as a whole for me i mean there are hints of what i liked about this program when it first aired it's certainly up to season four which i enjoyed tremendously but but the good stuff is sort of lost it's getting lost in this series and it's sort of as seems to believe its own hype and has forgotten how to tell a powerful, interesting story throughout an entire episode. You know, I'm finding little segments of an episode that interest me, but a lot of it's just just filler and not very interesting at all. It it looks still looks good, of course, uh, no doubt within the budget constrictions that the BBC suffer, even for a big series like this. And it may have nicked a couple of the Doctor Who <laughs> on set locations, that that quarry in Wales, is it, where they do some of the filming? Uh, I think has been nicked for. The this uh, Peaky Blinders series. So whether it's a far, far away planet or here on Little Old Earth, I did expect I did expect to see the TARDIS on one of the little mounds that uh, obviously the characters were climbing on this Peaky Blinders. But yeah, uh, little little homage there. And I, as I say, I have no idea if it's shot in the same place, but uh, it does have that that feel to it. Of course, the dramatic license used with the original Peaky Blinders and the story of the Peaky Blinders has been documentaries on that as well. It was always stretched a little bit. Of course it is, it's drama, it's, it's obviously made to entertain. But I mean, things, I think six seasons in, it's been lost all sense of its roots. I mean, I'd rather them still be based in Birmingham, in all fairness, or certainly based in the UK without wandering around them, which, which is good in theory, but it's just not perhaps working out in practice. So I would have really liked to have stayed to its roots, but as I said, it has, it has sort of deviated as the seasons have gone on. And the characters as well, I mean, even the unlikable characters, I did like them. I, you know, they did appeal to me, but all of them, all of them, even even the lead character, uh, you know, is still is pretty annoying to me now. I, I'm not really enjoying Killian Murphy's character at all. I mean, they've always been nutters, of course. You know, there's been nutters in this throughout, uh, but they, they were nutters I was interested in. But now, now they're becoming nutters I'm not really that bothered about, and unless I can invest in the character. It's not really worth it for me. I mean, even the brief appearances, the wonderful appearances of Anya Taylor-Joy and the likes of uh, Stephen Graham. I think Anya Taylor-Joy was in season five as well, wasn't she? And the likes of Stephen Graham are, are sort of marred by storylines and some of the lines are memorable that these actors are trying to put out, but the actual story they're involved in isn't that memorable. Anya Taylor-Joy is just, just, like, just like nice to look at, but not really adding that much to the whole package. But at least as actors, they're trying. I can't have nothing against the act, the, the actors, and what they're trying to do. And as for as for poor Arthur, well, I mean, I, I, as I say, by by season three and a half, by episode three and a half, uh, he's, you could have possibly put a cardboard cutout in his place at the moment. I mean, the credit credit to the actor is doing what he's being asked to do, but. As far as a character, and you know, he's just going from bad to worse, isn't he? And it's it's not pretty to watch. Uh, that's the unfortunate thing, and it's not supposed to be pretty to watch. But there's just something about it not working for me again. But uh, say the no, no offense to the actor who's making perhaps the best of a bad lot with uh, some pretty good facial expressions. So yes, I will. So in summary, I mean, really, what I'm saying is, I will go back, of course, and finish off episode three. As I said, I'm halfway through it. When I can, uh, I'm not going to sort of rush out or as and when I've got a spare half hour, I'll go and watch the, the second half. And yes, I will watch all six. Of course I will. I, I have to. I do expect an upturn. I do expect an upturn, hopefully, from the rest of episode three, four, five and six. Uh, but obviously, it's based on what we've seen so far, it might, might be a slow one. But I do expect an upturn for the final episodes. And at least I owe the series this, because as I said, it brought me lots of entertainment and some great stuff in in the early features, the early seasons. So uh, I, owe, I owe the programme that at least. And I would have loved to binge watch this in all fairness. Uh, I don't, I think it would have been a better watch as a binge watch. I think I'm struggling week by week with this to, 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 to actually want to watch the next one. I think if it was a binge watch, I think I might have got a little bit more about it and it would have been a little bit better. And for me, yeah, I mean, we've done it before with things, haven't they? You've had series that are finished, and then they come back a few years later as a one-off feature-length drama, uh, Downton Abbey, a uh, thing like that. Obviously, totally different, but and I think this could have been a good, good way for this to go. I mean, once once season five finished, uh, obviously there would have been uproar, of course, but. Uh, yeah, but I mean, because if you take these six episodes, I'm sure they could have cut this down into a, 
a very watchable, uh, a very interesting two hour or so feature length production. But obviously that's not the way they go. That's not that's not how they wanted to do it. But as I say, I find it a little bit drawn out at the moment. And I may, of course, I will go back. I will go back without doubt in, in the rest of my life, as long, hopefully, for a long, long time, and watch series one to four. But I am struggling. I think I'll probably end it there. I probably don't think I will certainly bother with uh, season five and six based on what I've seen so far. But I say it's such a shame that the, the series is ending for me in a sort of negative way, which, which, which isn't great. So my score, I mean, obviously Series 6. I mean, if I'd gone back and done a... Obviously, when Series 1 came out, I wasn't doing these vlogs. But, I mean, I would have been rating it anywhere between 8 and a 9 for the episodes and probably come up with an 8 out of 10. You know, I'm not I'm not overly, overly over the top with scores anyway. So, But this, I, I'm, struggling to, I'm struggling just to give it a basic 5, an average 5 with this Series 6. As I said, it may improve uh, the last two or three episodes... Hopefully it will. As I say, some of the production values are still there and everything, but it just some of the music I like, some of the soundtrack I don't like. Uh, that's how it is and that's how it's always been. But, uh, yeah, I'd have to give it a five. Hopefully that might increase slightly if we get a last good three episodes. But uh, I'm not going to hold my breath too much on that one. But uh, let me know what you think, guys, because as I say, I'm, I'm being a bit cruel and I'm missing something. I do want to be entertained, no matter what the storyline is. If it's a gritty, powerful storyline, I can still find it entertaining in, in that sort of way. You know, So I still want to be entertained, but I found this just a little bit too dark and miserable, which I can live with as long as it's a good story. But I found, I found the story just a little boring in parts, and I think that word has been used by other people as well. So uh, let me let me know what you think. I'd be really interested to to know what you, what what you think. So as I say, I probably won't come back and comment. I mean, if if we have a wonderful last three episodes and it's fantastic, I might make a comment on Twitter or something like that. But I'm not going to come back and uh, do another review of it at this point in time. I just find it all a little disappointing after after what has gone before. Uh, unfortunately, and this is available to buy. Actually, if you do want to buy it, you do like it, you are liking it. A lot of people seem to be. Is out to buy on DVD and Blu-ray on the 9th of May 2022 here in the UK in store and online. So check your territories wherever you are. 14.99 and 19.99 respectively. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Until we meet again, I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.